Welcome to the step-by-step -step video how to play the Harry Potter main theme. This is on the cello. Now I'm going to play it on a violin, but uh, I will teach you step-by-step -step how to play it on a cello. So first I'll play it so you can hear it. Alright, so I'm going to do this in 11 steps. Alright, this is uh, challenging, this piece. So uh, be, uh, be patient with yourself as you're learning. And I'm going to try to show you like a cello here. Um, so we're going to do it in, in four, what I'm going to call four kind of um, parts. And we'll label them A, B, C, and D. We're going to start with the um, the B part and the B part has four steps in it okay so the first uh, the first thing in the B part is on the D string we're gonna we're gonna slur open D with an F which is your second finger it's a low uh, what's the second finger for the F it's a low F and that's on a down bow that slur so the slur means that we do it in the same bow without stopping. And then we're going to add an E after that. So that's your first finger. And we'll change to an up bow on the E. So practice this. And when you get really good at that, you've completed step number one. Okay. Step number two, we're just going to add one note after step number one. So what we're going to add is a D flat. This is on our G string and it's a high fourth finger. So you have to really stretch your fourth finger. So normally your fourth finger is a C. Okay, but in this, we're going to go a half step above that to play the D flat. So it sounds like this. Okay, and so in context, then it sounds like this. This is from the, the first three notes we learned in step one. Okay, so this is step number two. So practice that. All right, and then step number three. We're going to play two notes in this step. We're going to play both with our first finger. We're going to play an E flat. This is on our D string. It's a low first finger. So we're going to bring our first finger back. Okay, so normally our first finger is on an E. We're going to bring it back to an E flat. And then we're going to go to the G string and we're going to put our first finger um, on the G string to play an A. So we normally have our first finger um, in the A position that we're playing. So that one shouldn't be uh, hard for you, but reaching back for the, the E flat might be tricky. And then really the challenge is going between the two. You want to make it as smooth of a connection as you can. That's going to be hard to do. But just do your best. So you don't want a big break. And that is step number three. Step number four is uh, pretty simple. We're just going to put the first three steps together. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm playing the beginning. Let me, let me play the right part. Okay, so that's step number four. Now, what I was playing at the beginning, it's, it's actually the same notes at the beginning that we did here uh, in this part. That, by the way, that completes the first section we're calling section B. Okay, so that's section B, and uh, that's it. So, first four steps done. We're going to move on. Now we're going to actually go to uh, section uh, or part D here. Okay, so part D, and we're going to start by playing three notes. We're gonna play, on our A string, we're gonna play a C, 
Okay, so the second finger to a B first finger, and then a B flat, which is a low first finger, similar to what we did when we were playing the E flat on our D string. Those three notes. Now, one thing to notice here is we're going to start with a half note on the C. So it's two beats. So one, two, then the B is a quarter note. So that's one beat, one, and then the B flat is another half note. So two more beats, one, two. So practice this. So that's the first step of the new section, section uh, D. All right. Now, the next part, step number two of part D, is we're going to play B flat on our A string, which is the note we just finished playing. Then we're going to play an F sharp on the D string. This is the third finger. And then we're going to go back and play the B flat again. Now, here's the trick. Keep your first finger on the B flat when you go to the F sharp. Don't lift this finger. It makes the transition back to that note much easier. Okay, so there we go. That's step two. And then we need to do step three. So we're going to start on the B flat uh, again, and we're going to slur it with an open A on a down bow. And then we're going to add an A flat, which is our uh, extended fourth finger on the D string. So just like we did earlier, um, our third finger is, or sorry, our fourth finger normally is for a G. So we're going to go up a half a step more to get it on the A flat. And then we're going to put this, these three notes together. So slur. And that's part, uh, step three. All right. And step four is, uh, two notes. We're going to play an A on our G string and an F on the D string. And that's, that's all there is to it. Actually, we're going to add a third note, which is the open D. That's step four. And when you've completed step four, all we need to do is put those four steps together to complete part D. So the way we do that is, if you remember our first step here, we played a C to a B, reach back for a B flat. Then we leave that down while we play the F sharp, because we're going to go right back to the B flat, slur it to the A, A flat, this is our extended four, and then we play A, F, D. So, putting all of that together completes part D. Now, we've completed B and D. We've got A and C still to go. If you found it challenging so far, I want to encourage you, spend time learning it. Uh, what we are going to do next is actually much easier, okay, than everything we've done so far. So it's, gonna, it's just all downhill from here, okay? So that's the good news. But if you need time to work out and process all that, take time to do it. But we're moving on in the video. Here we're going to do, oh, let's do, um, let's do part C next. So you might remember from our very first thing we did today, we played on the D string, open D, F, slurred, and then E. Well, we're going to do that, but we're going to add a note before it. We're going to add the A on our G string, the first finger. And when we do that, uh, we're going to start with an up bow on that first note. So we can still be down bow on the slur. Okay? So... And then after, we're going to add two open strings, open D and open A. Here it is one more time. Open D, 
open A. All right, uh, so good news. Uh, part three is done. It was it. It was just that, that, one, that one step. Now, we can actually link parts C and D together uh, if you want to at this time. And this is how you do it. You play what we just did. And then what we did in part D. Oops, sorry. So that's how you do um, part C and D together. Last thing, part A. Part A actually starts just like part C does. So we're gonna start with that up bow on the G string with our first finger. So that's an A. All of that is what we've already done. That was part C. But now we're gonna add just a couple of notes. We're gonna add the G on the D string. So fourth finger and first finger E. Those are the only two notes we need to add and that's all for part A, pretty simple. Now if you wanna link that to part B, you would just continue from there to part B. And there you have part B. If you wanna keep going to part C, and then again, here's part D. have it that's the whole thing so be patient I hope that you find it fun to play it's uh, challenging but it'll really help you progress um, in your playing and confidence with your fingers in your on your fingerboard so um, good luck with it and I hope you enjoy it <laughs>